I'm at Bali National and this is the 8th Green and Robert has written into the Search for Scratch program and asked about putting, making putts from 6 feet or about 2 metres from the hole and in. He feels like if he could make more putts it would save him 4 strokes around which I tend to agree with Robert. A lot of people are, are not very solid on, on these types of shots. Now this is an area pros spend a lot of time at because it is a, obviously it has a, a big impact on your score. And so they spend more hours doing this than they would probably a lot of other things. That said, we've got to have some strategies that we we're working with. So the first strategy here is I'm just using the, the suns over here and it's cast a shadow over this side of the ball. Now the line is not, you know, that there's actually a little bit of right to left break here, but just for the exercise, Robert, the first thing I'm gonna do is just practice hitting a couple of putts down the shadow line and just getting a feel in my body about what it would take for me to hit it straight. Because the first thing you're going to be need, able to do is you have to be able to hit the ball where you're aiming. Even if it's not the right aim point, you need to be able to hit the ball and start it on the right line. And then you can work on your, uh, your break. So that's number one. Number two is where you leave the ball after it misses the hole. Because the bottom line is this. You know, when, when I putt and what I teach people to understand is it either goes in or it doesn't and if it doesn't go in that's going to happen more times than not for every person we miss more than we make unless of course it's really close to the hole but we're talking about these ones being just inside six feet which we get a lot of questions about uh, on the program okay so first thing i'm going to do is just do a, a little line check so i'm going to set up set the putter up and line everything up with the shadow and the ball's going to miss to the left side of the hole here but i just my goal is to hit it down the shadow and just hit it just past the the uh, the hole so there like that you see it just break there now that would be way too far past so I'll do that again so I'm just calibrating here I'm going to hit it a little bit softer it's going to finish closer to there and this is what I want you to practice just doing this just calibrating your stroke and getting the ball to start down that shadow line that's a little better it's a little closer and then again, down the line, remember the goal is just to start it down the line. Now, you could go to a hardware store and get a string line, and you pull the string line out and tap it, and it'll leave a chalk mark there, so a chalk string line, and it'll work the same. A lot of pros use those, and all they're really practicing is, they, sometimes they have a hole, sometimes they don't, and they just practice hitting it down the string line, because what you want to become competent at, Robert, is starting the ball on line keeping it online as much as you can. Second thing you practice is speed control. So again, I'm gonna hit this third putt and I'm gonna just see if I can finish a little bit inside that, that uh, second putt that I hit. Small, down the line, small putt. Very good, obviously I'm not very good at the speed control, but I, you get the idea. So all three putts, all three putts went down the, down the line and that's the first thing you work on. Now. How about a little bit of technique? So now we'll add something to it. I found this over the years to be extremely helpful and, and it's simple. The best putters that I've observed, bar none, and I'm going way back into history, uh, tend to stay over the putt longer after you've hit the putt. So in other words, they execute the putt, they strike the putt, and they stay still, really still, until the ball stops. So that's a count of three. So you go strike, strike, hold, one, two, three, relax. Now, believe me when I tell you, it takes a great deal of discipline to do that because people who miss putts a lot tend to pull themselves out of the putt very, very quickly. So they tend to look something like this. They stand up there, they hit their putt, they see it's not gonna go in the hole and they pull themselves out like this, pull themselves up. You can be lucky, can't you? So. What I don't want to see you do is do that. That jerking upwards is not a very good behavior to practice. So strike the putt, Robert. Hold very, very still. Practice putting down the line more. And if you can do that, then it's easy to just adjust for, for aim and so on. So where you really want the ball to finish, if this green at Bali National, the greens here are really good. This, this green's probably running at about 11 to 11 and a half on the stimp, so it's quite quick. Um, and that's fantastic if you got that. But it doesn't really matter. If it's a slower green, it works the same way. So shadow putting, if you haven't got a shadow, get yourself a, a chalk line and practice down the chalk line. Leave the ball close to the hole, number two, number three. Hold your position 
a count of three takes a lot of discipline to do that but it'll help you a lot and I guarantee if you can do those things you'll start making more putts. Robert thanks so much for the question we really appreciate it and the best of luck with your game. Well there it is we hope you enjoyed this lesson remember to share any questions in the comments below and feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. We want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more so we want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which we've designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model, practice plan, and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information, and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program, or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video guys. We look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.